I just not what I ordered. Can you swap them? She was just like, no, I'm not having it today. It's not, you know. And it's like, listen, I'll pay for it. Like, I don't, I don't, it doesn't bug me. No, you can't do that already. And she said no and wouldn't give him the curly fries, which I found to be weird. Like most people would just say, okay, y'all, let me get, get you the curly fries. Ramos has now been at the drive through window for over 10 minutes. That's when things start to get ugly. So, like, she was already agitated, bro. She was already having a jacked up day. And when she messed up that order, when she messed up that order, and then she figured she had to go back, drop some more fries, wait for the fries, whatever, whatever, that took off the top. But to pull a, a, a on bro for that, on bro for that, now, okay, he, he got a point. He got a point. But I still feel like in that situation, just being mature, if you got your family with you and whatever, whatever, bro, like, go ahead, just dip up. Y'all can come back tomorrow or come back the next day. When you're getting into it with two women in the drive through like, bro, go ahead and just kill that noise. Kill that noise. Did you catch your packets at me, ice at me? So I ended up throwing my food back at her, you know, just out of pure instinct all right now and, get up uh, out of there when i did that she turned around she grabbed the gun and fired at me ford then decides to pull out a gun and allegedly open fire on ramos and his family adrenaline That's was crazy. running really high uh fear and adrenaline and first thing i did as soon as i saw it because like she kind of reached in for it you know what i'm saying and when she turned around is when, when i kind of saw the gun so it gave me enough time to put the car in drive but if you kind of notice, the gun jams the first time she tries to get me. And uh, you see her kind of cock it back again, and that's when she fired off the next round. Over some curly fries. Over not dropping a new bag of curly fries, bro. What has society come to? Man, not only that, how the f she bought the gun with her to work. Um... My initial reaction was to get, get out of there as fast as I could. My adrenaline was running so high, and, you know, the fear. Of my daughter was in the back seat. You know, like, as soon as I saw it, I just wanted to get out of there as fast as I could so that she didn't hit my daughter. You know, she didn't hit that back glass firing at me. Ramos thinks he was on the unfortunate end of Ford's bad day. You know, I, I from the beginning, you could tell she was just frustrated. She it looked like she just didn't want to be there. She wasn't having a good day. Yeah. And I just got the short end of the stick on it. You, know? you almost got the long end of the barrel on it. You talk about the short end of the stick. Bro, you almost stared down a barrel. If she would have got that window open because she, she, she pulled out the gun, then she struggled to get the window open because she was trying to get to him. If she would have been on point, man, she could have... <sighs> over some curly fries. I understand everybody has bad days. But that doesn't mean you, when you when you're dealing with customer service, in my opinion, just because you're having a bad day, that doesn't mean you get to take it out on the people you you know you're you're serving. Both Ramos and his attorney I note agree. that prior to working at the Jack in the Box, Ford pleaded guilty to making a terroristic threat in 2012. God a damn. background check, Ramos claims, would have flagged that. To do background checks on people, and if because I'm all for people having a job. But if they have a criminal background, point blank, don't put them with the customers. Now, more than two years later, Ramos and his attorney have filed a lawsuit against Jack in the Box, claiming the store should have done a better job of keeping its customers safe. It's hard for her to say I was scared when she's the aggressor coming forward with the gun, throwing things, and to think that she was the person who's afraid would be ridiculous because our clients are you know, in their car outside, but she's the one coming forward when she didn't have to do that at all. She could have just stayed in the back and, uh, you know, got out of the situation. But uh, she came forward aggressively, opened the window after it was locked and uh, started to shoot. At the time of this recording, Jack in the Box has denied cool. all allegations, claiming they have no control over third parties and can't be held legally responsible. For the 2021 Curly Fries incident, Ford was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, but mm. pleaded guilty to a lesser charge of deadly conduct. Ford also spoke with a local Texas news station saying Ramos called her racial slurs, 
which Ramos we denies. Didn't hear that. Ford also claims she never actually fired the gun, although a shell appears to be visible in the security footage. According to the lawsuit, Ramos is seeking at least $250,000 in damages. He says this has had a big impact on his family, especially his six-year-old daughter. Man, I want 150 million and we can sell a lot of court right now for five dollars. Nah, man, 250. Bro, you had your daughter with you in the back seat. She gonna be traumatized for the rest of her life. She got shot at going to a jack in a box. And you want 250? Man, that 250 gonna be gone in 250 days. I'd have pressed them for at least two M's. Fuck that. Oh, she was bawling, crying. She. She, we had to send her to therapy for it. Man. Um, you know, just to get over the trauma about it. Ramos explained the entire ordeal has changed the way he consumes fast food. I'm going to be honest with you. We don't go through drive thrus anymore. I family. don't. We get down and get something to eat. I don't. If you're going to go get your fast food, it ain't nothing wrong with it. But if you're going to go get it, at least get out the car and walk in there and go get it, bro. That's my only thing. GTG the family. Is this the end of the video? So is it that that's how much of a I never want it to happen again, so I don't even put myself in a position. I, I get down and get in order my food. For law and crime after hours, yeah. I'm Sam.